Hi, this is Vandad Nahavanipur, the author of iOS 4 Programming Cookbook. In this video, I want to show you how you can use table views in iOS SDK. The material that I'm going to present to you in this video has already been explained in iOS 4 Programming Cookbook. Now, uh, what's different here in this video is that I'm going to be using Xcode 4. And of course, it's going to be, you're going to learn this much faster since it's just a video. But if you want to go into further more detail, I suggest that you pick a copy of iOS 4 programming cookbook to learn more about table views. Let's open Xcode. I will create a new project. So I'll just go to File, New Project, and I will make sure it's iOS application, view based application. Press next. I'll call it table views. You can name it anything else. Make sure also it's iPhone. Press next. I'll save it on desktop. Create. Expand, expand your uh, project um, and select your NIP file or XIB file. Click on it. I'll drop this here. Click on the rightmost button here. <clears throat> and uh, you, you got a couple of items here. First, you can see all, all your code snippets. Click on the third item from the left or the second item from the right. Scroll down, find table view. Hold your mouse button on it and just drop it into your view. It will resize automatically to cover the whole views region. Drop it. All right. I'll get rid of the right panel. Click on the assistant editor button here in the middle. Now it will open the associated source code that's associated with this view controller on the right side. What you have to do here, click on this table view, hold the mouse button down. Now press the control button on your keyboard and hold the button down basically the control key, sorry. And then drop this here after the end of the curly brackets. All right, and I will let go of the mouse on, uh, on the, uh, the mouse button and let go of the control key on your keyboard. As you can see, it's gonna create a new outlet. I won't, actually, I'll, I'll give it a name here and I will say, this is my table view. Press connect. Also, click this button to get rid of the assistant. We're done with that. Click here to open this panel again. As you can see, you got a data source and a delegate. Click on the delegate button here and drop this all the way to this object here, files owner. Done. Go to file, save. We're done with this um, XIB file now. Go to the H file, make sure that you save it. As you can see, it's a bit highlighted here. Just say, okay, file save and that color will go away. And go here and save this. The shortcut for this is Command and S. So I'm gonna be using that shortcut from now. All you have to do here, go here and in your H file, in your table view, uh, view controller and say, I am a UI table view data source. As you saw here in our XIB file, we clicked on our table view and we made sure that the data source is the file owner. So in the H file, say I am a data source of a table view, hold down the command button on your keyboard and click on the on this item, as you can see, it's highlighted as, as soon as you hold down the command key. Click on this, copy the two first methods in the data source, and go back to your M file. Paste them right here, get rid of the comments, make this a method, make this one a method as well. The first method, the value that re you return in it, di basically dictates how many items you want to load into your table view. So for example, here, I will say I want to have 10 items. Here, you have to create every cell that you want to display in your table view. So I'll say UI table view cell, cell is equal to nil for now. And I will return cell. So now what we have to do here is say cell is equal to table view, which is a parameter here dq reusable cell with identifier. So this is gonna be an, an identifier that you pass to your table view telling it which cells to reuse. So you can give it any name here, I will say my cell. 
So here I'm just telling this table view, hey, load me a cell with an identifier of my cell. And if this doesn't exist, our cell here will be nil. So I'll say if cell is nil, so if we don't have an identifier like that before, just create one and you create a cell like this. UI table view cell alloc in it with style UI table view style de cell def cell style default give it a, an identifier which is my cell again this can be anything and auto release it and here just say cell label uh, text label that text is equal to an a string string with format cell index path row plus one so what's going to happen here each row that is called that is sent to your table view here starts from zero so the first cell in your table view has a row index of zero so what i'm doing here all i'm saying is that just display in my cell say cell whatever number and this number is made out of the row index which starts from zero plus one so the first cells te text will be cell one next one will be cell two cell three and etc etc all right now go to product and say build for running it's gonna build the project and then go to product and then say run it's gonna run the application for you and you get 10 cells in your table view I hope you enjoyed this video it was really I know I understand it was really fast but I think that that's what we needed at this at this time if you're a beginner to iOS SDK, I think this is the type of stuff that you're going to need, not something that goes too much into details. But if you do need more details and if you're going to if you want to go further, I do suggest that you pick a copy of iOS 4 programming cookbook. In there you find a lot more detail about table views and how to use them. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions or comments, do let me know. Thank you.